morning guys today is monday and obviously the first day of my what i eat in a week today is actually a bit of a different one for me so i never normally have breakfast i normally just kind of wake up have coffee and just wait until i'm hungry at lunchtime so today i've decided to have a breakfast and i was really craving a smoothie so a smoothie is what i've made so this is what <laughs> i mean after i'm half of it and then realize i need to film so it's a banana and salted caramel protein powder i'll leave the link down below because it's dairy free one it's really good and then some gluten-free oats and some almond milk and it tastes like heaven it's so good normally i don't have breakfast normally i just have like a coffee like i say sometimes i'll have like cereal or something but normally it's nothing so this is a bit of a change for me i'm trying to be a little bit healthier so i've killed two birds with one stone i've got my protein in and i've got my smoothie and like my fruit well technically it's like <laughs> it's like having banana and porridge and a protein shake but in a glass it's lunchtime and for for a change i've headed out and got some bits from sainsbury's so i picked up a little sweet and crunchy salad and some lemon and herb chicken so that's gonna be my salad putting this together and that's gonna be my lunch for the day which is quite healthy for me but normally i'd have soup or something but i'm just not feeling it because i have it quite a lot so i thought i'd change it up and have some chicken salad <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's half three 20 past three and i'm having a little snack because i'm peckish so i've got myself a coffee and one of these naked bars which is the cashew cookie one i'll actually leave a link in the description box because i buy my naked bars in bulk on amazon and it works out so much cheaper i think it works out as like at least 60p cheaper a box which is quite a lot when you eat them as much as i do and i just think it works it's, I, mean, I don't know, I just prefer buying them in bulk and having a discount. <laughs> so I'm going to have a nibble of this, get my coffee and then crack on with work again. It's quarter to six and I have just done a one hour workout. So I basically missed, I'm doing like a 30 day program, no not a 30 day, a 12 week program. And I basically missed yesterday. So I did two in one day. So it ended up being like 50 minutes, which is a long workout. Very, very tired now. But we're just about to start dinner. I say we're just about to start. Dinner is being cooked, but I'm quickly gonna have some mango that I picked up yesterday in Aldi, just because I really feel like some sweet mango-ness in my life. And I'm currently chugging on my second litre bottle of water of the day. So trying to get as much water in as possible. It's about about three or four coffees today. Evidence in front of me. But I'll show you what dinner is. So we're actually doing one of our mindful chef recipes, which is this one. So it's hot smoked salmon with fresh pea and rocket penne. So we've got a vegan basil pesto, just cause I obviously can't have the dairy and then we've got all the other bits going on we've got one with pasta in and one with giant couscous because I want a giant couscous and then this is the salmon they're actually really big pieces of salmon which is good because sometimes you get really tiny pieces but this is the brand of this one so very excited very healthy okay this is dinner so I have got giant couscous peas sweet corn I actually put lemon and herb nando sauce in because I didn't fancy pesto lol at me and the hot smoked salmon and then James has got pesto with pasta and all the good stuff so they look very very different his looks much more appealing but even so good morning it's Tuesday today and I have to admit there was a few little treats yesterday that I forgot to share with you because if I'm honest I just I snacked a lot like I ended up having what did I have I had some chocolate hobnobs I had some party rings I had like a fiber one bar because I was having a cup of tea and watching Married at First Sight and I just wanted a little snack but I completely forgot to get the camera out because I, I just completely forgot but it's a new day this morning I'm actually having a quick coffee and I'm actually going to have one of my Actimels so I obviously can't have dairy and this is one of the dairy free ones so I've got the mango and passion fruit they're really really good if you can get your hands on them there's only one Tesco's around me that sells them I'm having that with my decaf coffee as always it's half 10 and I'm finally getting some breakfast. So I'm actually gonna have some toast. So I've got the Genius gluten-free farmhouse one. It's like the brown farmhouse. And I think I might put some almond butter on it or peanut butter because I'm just feeling like that's a good option. And I know I've got a little bit of almond butter left and potentially a bit of banana on top. So I'm giving myself quite a filling breakfast and then lunch is probably gonna be something quite small because I'm off out to shoot. And normally I don't really get time to have lunch. So I normally just take like a naked bar or two and just have them as like little snacks to keep me going and some water. <laughs> I thought 
know how to figure it out. And then like I said, naked bars are gonna be the snack that I pack in my bag to take in the car. And I'm gonna be having these ones today. So I'm gonna have one of the banoffee pie and one of the peanut delight, which I've not tried either of. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these out from each one. And then I actually get rid of the packaging once I've opened them and I just put them all into a snack box, which I will show you in a second. If you've seen my kitchen organization video, which I'll leave linked down below, then you'll know what I mean. But I basically have a box of snacks that I just chuck everything into. So I'll show you that now. This is the snack box. This one's kind of just like crisps of my boyfriend, some nuts and some bounty vegan chocolate and like other random vegan chocolate bars. But this is like the everyday snacks. This is kind of the more rare ones. So in here, I've got all my naked bars stacked up here. So there's three cashews, two salted caramels and a carrot one down there. These are all my fiber ones. So these are stacked up in what they are. And then I basically just pop all the naked bars down the side. But I find it easier to have them all like that and then I don't have loads of empty boxes everywhere or like loads of boxes like one thing in. And I tend to, rather than like going through one pack at a time and just having all of one flavor then all of another flavor, I just quite like having them mixed. Like I like having like one banoffee one and then being like, oh, I can still have a salted caramel or something rather than being like, oh, I wish I had salted caramel left. I don't know, just personal preference. Okay, we're halfway through our shoot. Lauren is in the car behind me and I have had my peanut naked bar, which is the one that I packed earlier. And then we actually stopped at Starbucks and I had the Beyond Breakfast Wrap roll thing. It's the only thing they had that didn't have dairy in. So I had that and I've got my little decaf almond latte as well. But it's a really nice day today. And I'm just enjoying being outside, to be honest. It's quite nice. But yeah, I really need a wee, not fun. Good evening, I'm back from my shoot and I've done my workout so it's time for dinner. Like I said, I had the random Starbucks sandwichy thing for lunch. But tonight's dinner, I'm gonna make some chickpeas and I'm actually gonna pop some barbecue marinade on them because I just thought that would be quite a nice little flavor. And then I'm gonna pop a pepper, some tender stem broccoli. I might mix the tender stem broccoli and put asparagus instead. And then some mushrooms just as like a little bit of flavor basically this is just like a throw it together meal which i tend to do sometimes when i can't really be bothered to cook i just kind of throw things together and hope for the best so that's basically what i'm doing tonight and i hope it tastes good <laughs> i don't really know if it's going to but hopefully it does so let's get cooking when i thought that i knew what to do and i didn't need you i can't imagine if i stayed back what would happen if i never found you those times were hard and all I did was resent you Oh no, I don't want to go back Or oh, how naive I was I'm running to where my hope is Where I know I'm free Dinner is served. So I've just got this little bowl, like I said, of chickpeas with marinade and red peppers. I've got some asparagus in there and some mushrooms. So I'm gonna tuck into this and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's 9 p.m. and as you can see, I've washed my hair and I'm blooming starving. Well, I'm not starving, I'm just peckish. And rather than going to the snack cupboard, I'm going to give myself some protein because I haven't had any protein today. I've had like protein in things, but I haven't had like a protein shake. So I'm gonna give myself a protein shake and hopefully this will like fulfill my sweet tooth because this is the um, chocolate cookie one from PhD Plant. I'll leave the link like I said yesterday because it's really, really good. So I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna make myself a vegan Horlicks to go to bed because I didn't know that Horlicks did vegan, but they do and it's on Amazon. I'll leave it linked because it's really good and I've been having one every evening just to kind of help me to relax and sleep because I'm finding it really hard to sleep at the moment with the lockdown, so I thought that might help a little bit. Ooh, this world accused me for my thousand crimes. Good morning. It's technically lunchtime because it's 10 to 12, but I have been pottering around all morning and only had my coffee and my Activia so far. And I'm about to have something to eat, which is gonna be technically lunch, but like, because it's a late lunch, I'm gonna have something breakfasty. And then I think I might just have a snack in a couple of hours. So I'm torn. I don't know whether to have some granola with some yogurt and some fruit or whether to have this that I just picked up in Tesco's that I'm really excited to try, which is the whole earth peanut butter, but with honey. It's got honey in it. So I don't know what to have. I don't know whether to have this or whether to have the granola. I'm thinking granola because I haven't had it in a while and I had toast yesterday. I just think that sounds so yummy, but maybe I hold off. Maybe I keep that as like tomorrow morning's breakfast. 
we're gonna do that we're gonna have um granola so i'm gonna get everything out of the cupboard now and make <laughs> Midway through cleaning the house, so I'm having a snack and a cup of coffee. I forgot to share, I had some peanut butter on toast as like a mid-afternoon snack at like maybe about half four-ish. So I had the little banoffee pie naked bar, which was so good. I don't know why I've never got them before. And then I had peanut butter on toast and I'm about to have dinner, which is last night's leftovers. So very excited for that because sometimes leftovers are just the best because you don't have to cook and it saves me ordering a takeaway, which is really unhealthy. So I basically got fast food without the junk side of it. <laughs> but I'm also making myself a quick cup of tea and then once I've had dinner, after about half an hour, because I don't want to do it too quickly, I'm actually gonna get in the bath and read a book for a bit and just try and like have a chill and relax this evening. It's two o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. I've just had coffee because I've been so busy trying to do various calls and different things. If I'm honest, I thought it was only about 11 o'clock, so. Era. but I'm gonna have lunch now and I've actually gone through the fridge and looked at what is going out of date the soonest and tried to kind of base my lunch choice on that so these are actually going off today slash yesterday the 23rd um, these are no garlic chicken no chicken garlic and herb Kievs there is two in here so I'm gonna have one for lunch and one for dinner and I think with lunch I might have it with an avocado and some broccoli or something. Or do you know what, I might just have the same thing for both. Like I might have half a pack of rice, one of these, half an avocado and some broccoli and have it for lunch and dinner. Cause I need to use them up. And I'd rather be honest with you and tell you this is what I do some days rather than like cooking different meals for everything. I do just have the same thing on two days in a row or two meals in a row. And there's no shame in that. You should always use up what's in your fridge. Less food waste is better. Do you ever open the fridge and forget why you went in there? Cause I just did that. Oh, I've got some sprouts. I forgot I bought sprouts. Oh yes, I'm gonna roast some sprouts. I'm just gonna roast them with that olive oil or maybe like a little bit of like garlic or something and then put them, these can go then in water. They don't get roasted because I don't like them roasted. I like them when they're soft. I'm gonna roast the sprouts and then put some rice and then just drizzle on like some kind of sauce. Oh, heaven. Ever seen someone get so excited about some Brussels sprouts? Honestly, I think I'm one of the only people that actually likes them, but I blooming love them. I think they taste amazing. But you tell me the truth. I'm so happy with you. Now I want to do good. Keep my covenant with.